is the other video that I wanted to make. I went to a flea market uh, the weekend before this one. Uh, there's a big one about mm, an hour and a half from my house, and I go a couple times a summer. And I found, I actually never buy anything there, but this time I happened to find two things that I really, really liked, both of which are kind of funny, but they will be great for dolls, I think. So, the first thing is this hilarious alpaca. He has a super derpy face and he has the most cute little legs. He's made of real alpaca fur, supposedly, from the man. And I just think he is hilarious. He actually looks a lot like my, my kitten that died, Littles. So I named him Littles the Llama. And I think he will be hilarious for my Lotties to have around. And he's a really good size for them. So I think he's going to be really funny to have around in my collection. So that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing that I got is really huge. I'm not sure how to really show it on camera. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what's the best way. I might unhook the first part from the second part of it. Okay, so the first thing, it actually hooks up to the other thing I'm about to show you, is this amazing horse. He is, I believe, made of leather, guys, um, and he is phenomenal. He's kind of creepy, but he is leather and amazing and just super, super cool. Um, so he's the first thing. But the real thing and the real reason I bought this is not for this leather horse because I'm not a big horse fan. I'm actually really scared of horses. So the really cool part is this amazing thing that hooks up to it. If you're from the USA, a lot of you will know what this is. It is a little Amish buggy, okay? So this thing is, for a lack of a better phrase, kick ass. The whole, in, the whole thing is made of leather. And it has these amazing sliding doors on it. If I can slide them with my hand. Um, all tooled leather. Super amazing. The back is actually liftable. It goes over these little nails here. And you can lift the back like so. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. When I found this, I was so excited. Um, the bottom is made of wood and it has these working wheels. And the other side is the same. The inside, actually this window here uh, can lift back. It has these itty bitty little handles inside that shut it so that it's shut, or it can lift up like a real Amish buggy. Like I've ridden in Amish buggies before, so this is like really cool to have a miniature version. Um, and the other side is the same. So it can open up like this, the little, uh, the little, Let's see, there we go. And then this lifts like this, and then it has these really cute little handles that shut it. And then it also has a leather seat in it for the dolls to ride in. Oh my gosh, it's like the perfect size for everything that I do. But the idea that I have is not as an Amish buggy, obviously, because, you know, that's no fun for my stories. Um, what I wanna do with it is turn it into a peddler wagon, like, somebody who peddles wares out of their ancient wagon, like magical ingredients and things, uh, out of this really cool Amish buggy. The wood, the top is wood. This is a really cool piece um, of antique awesomeness. And then the horse actually hooks up with the stirrups there. I think that's what they're called, stirrups? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they hook up to, this really really cool thing here so he pulls the wagon this was $75 for both things which at a flea market is actually quite a steal because everything is so ridiculously expensive um so that I got this awesome piece and this really cool leather horse for $75 and then I got this hilarious Alpaca named Littles for, I think he was $15. And he has like long shank things here and he just hilarious. And I just, 
I love them. I love funny stuff. So anything that looks comical is all about me. So yes, those were my flea market finds for this time. I thought I never buy anything at the flea market. This was really, really, really rare. So I was so excited to find these things. Um, hopefully I'll go again, but I really don't want to find anything else because it's expensive there. <laughs> but yes. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this. Have a fantastic weekend and go out to flea markets. There are a lot, lot, lot of awesome doll stuff there, but they're pricey, so you just have to go prepared. But I will talk to you guys later. Bye!